Hi, my name is Paul Fisher. I'm a professor and extension specialist at the University of Florida, IFAS Extension. One way to visualize the four key concepts of light, which are the spectrum, the intensity, photo period, and data light integral, is to use the analogy of water to help us understand these concepts. First, let's talk about light spectrum, which describes the wavelengths of radiation. We also refer to the light spectrum as light quality. Our eyes interpret light quality as color. For example, the ocean appears blue because it absorbs red wavelengths of light around 660 nanometers and reflects blue around 450 nanometers of wavelength. Similarly, these New Guinean patience flowers reflect red wavelengths and the leaves reflect green wavelengths. Only light with the correct quality or spectrum is useful for controlling plant growth and horticulture. For example, too much far red light caused these petunia seedlings to be very leggy in research by Michigan State University. Water quality is kind of similar. Salt water is not useful for drinking or for irrigation to plants. It is important to not just have enough water or light, the quality also matters. In the same way, only the light that's in the right spectrum, 400 to 700 nanometer wavelengths, is photosynthetically active radiation, or PAR light for short. Light outside this wavelength range has little direct effect on photosynthesis. The next concept is light intensity. We can measure light intensity with a quantum light meter, like these ones, that only measure light in the PAR range of 400 to 700 nanometers in units of micromoles per square meter per second. The meter in the shade is only measuring 11.5 micromoles per square meter per second, but in full sun on this day, there was more than 100 times more light. The stronger the light intensity, the more energy we are providing that could contribute to plant growth. In the same way, the stronger I turn on this hose, it increases the flow rate in milliliters of water per second, which is like increasing the light intensity in micromoles per square meter per second. And we could use a flow meter to measure how quickly water flows through a pipe, just like we can use a light meter for light. In the case of light, that is the source of energy for a plant. Low light means a plant does not have enough energy for respiration and growth. Under low light, that plant will be elongated, pale, and small. Similarly, if I do not provide enough water to a plant, it will wilt if water is lost more quickly through evapotranspiration than the rate at which we supply water through irrigation. A very high light intensity can damage leaves as heat or excess energy. As you can see in symptoms with these tomato leaves under high intensity LED lighting. Similarly, if I really blast the water hard, the soil cannot absorb all that water so quickly and I can damage plants. So a moderate light intensity or a moderate water flow is best for plant growth. The duration of the light period during 24 hours is called the photo period or day length. For example, under natural sunlight in the winter, Dawn was at 8 a.m. and dusk at 5 p.m. That gives a photo period of 9 hours. Photo period also refers to the time that electric lights are turned on indoors without sunlight. The longer the photo period, the more light energy we're able to give to the crop over 24 hours. Similarly, the duration I turn on this hose in seconds is like the day length or photo period in hours. The longer I run the hose, the more water I provide over time. The daily light integral refers to the accumulated light energy over the course of a day in moles per square meter per day. You can see these red lettuce plants had more pigmentation and stronger leaves under a higher daily light integral. There are daily light integral or DLI recommendations for different types of crop. For example, many flowering plants need a DLI of 10 moles per square meter per day or more to produce a lot of flowers. We can increase DLI by either increasing light intensity and or by increasing the photo period. We can think of the amount of water in these buckets in liters 
as like the accumulated light energy in moles per square meter per day. So I can run the hose at a low flow rate for a long time or turn the hose on faster for a short time to get to the same accumulated volume. I hope you now understand these four concepts, light spectrum, intensity, photo period, and daily light integral. Understanding these key concepts underlies managing light for plant growth. For more information about lighting, enroll in our greenhouse training online courses, use our app in backpocketgrower.org, and check out an excellent course on lighting offered by Michigan State University. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.